presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you're, with your gold report, you're just printing money. I love it. <laughs> uh, you're my best dad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate you growling a problem with us yet. Now. Tom O'Brien. Okay, folks, this is Larry Casavento setting in for Tom O'Brien. It's a real pleasure to do that. I met Tom, oh, 17 years ago. I've been doing this show for 15 years, and I can tell you right now, folks, he says he, he walks the talk. He's a stand-up guy. He's one of the good guys. So, and his son, Tommy, of course, and the whole family is just great. But, uh, Nice family here at TFNN. I posted a chart here. Oh, by the way, for a special uh, thing for you folks in the stock market, we have Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter. It will be our guest at the break. He's one of the award winners, up along with Steve Rhodes and some of these other guys, Tim Boss that we know, and Bill Meridian. A lot of these guys are in that uh, group of uh, uh, traders of the year. So uh, Stan will be our guest at the break here to talk to us about uh, what's happened in the market. And you can see we've had this explosive rally today. Not unexpected. If you look at this chart that I posted of the S&P, you'll notice that we have these three major targets down in this area. And uh, we made a slightly lower low than last week. But what was important is the NASDAQ made a lower low than it made in May. And it just did it at 1.30 in the morning. And I had a beeper on my machine to let me know when that happened. And uh, it made a big, a very loud noise. So I got up and then I saw this market starting to rally quite a bit. And the things that Stan will show you what's going on is probably tell you that uh, maybe this would be a pretty good rally. So far, we're in a rally in a bear market. We still have these outstanding targets, as you can see down here at this area, around 3,900 in the S&P. But, you know, we could get a rally all the way up into this area before we finally roll over, if in fact we do. We don't know the answer to that. But we're going to go through a few charts today because we've had a lot of things happening in these markets, and I think it's important to realize what's going on. We're going to start out with the crude oil market, folks. This would be a market that we've looked at uh, several times over the past few weeks, uh, giving us an idea that maybe there was some type of a top coming in in the market. And as you'll see here, we had the top made up here at the 130 level. We came down, made actually made a double top up here by just a little bit within one day. And then we came down, then we made a 38% retracement. And from there we said, oh, this thing's most probably getting ready to go lower. And our price target on this comes in right at about $90. We're trading around 95 and change right now. And folks, if you're dropping 4 or $5 a day, you can be there today or tomorrow. So the big number to watch is that $90 per barrel level in the May crude oil. This would be the first major ABCD pattern we've seen in the last seven weeks. So it's going to be a major one, folks. It's a, it's a very important pattern. Whether it goes here, then starts to go back up where it collapses from that level, I don't know. The news that brought it down here over these last few days is the deal with Iran is supposed to be a done deal, that the sanctions are going to be lifted and they're going to be pumping oil like crazy to the tune of about 12 million barrels a day to the U.S. But again, it's not what you think, it's what they might do, and that's what the big question is. The big stock of the day here from Hong Kong's perspective, folks, let's take a look here. This was a stock that was recommended by uh, Charlie Munger, the, the uh, partner of uh, Berkshire Hathaway's Warren Buffett, uh, at 125. And you can see at 125, it was a pretty good buy, but it only rallied about 8 or $9. And then it's gone from 125. It, I think it hit $70 a share today in, uh, in Hong Kong when it was breaking. 
So uh, that was a big ABCD to the downside. It's been in the bear market for well over a year, going from what 180 down to uh, about seventy dollars. It's hard to believe, and you never hear from Jack Ma anymore. It's just like a disappearing person. He just doesn't uh, doesn't appear anymore. So. Uh, but the stock may or may not come back. That's not the important thing. There's another stock here that it's very interesting in the news, folks, because, you know, we believe uh, at the 24-7 Fibonacci that uh, these things are related to these Fibonacci numbers that we look at, numbers of sacred geometry. Here's one that is very, very popular that is screaming, please buy me now, and that is Facebook. It got to 186, folks. At 186, it was making a 78% retracement of the low that we made in March, and it was making a, you won't believe this, it was making a 61% retracement to the exact dollar from the low that it made way back in April of the last year when it first came out. I mean, that's just truly amazing. I mean, it's just been, uh, it's just been straight up. It had this big drop from uh, 300 and something all the way down to 186. And that's a, that's a big move, but boy, this is where it should stop, because if it doesn't stop here, it's not going to stop anywhere. So keep your close eye on uh, Facebook, because anything below 186, uh, I don't think I would want to be involved in it. That's the way that it looks like for me. I mean, it just doesn't, uh, doesn't seem to make any sense. Now, I also wanted to cover um, the Treasury bonds, because we've got the uh, Fed coming out uh, tomorrow. And I want to show you, this is still a very bearish market, folks. Uh, the Fed is between a rock and a hard place. They have to raise interest rates just to get by the inflation, but I don't think they'll raise them very much. And you'll see here that we've been in a really strong bear market for well over two years. Here's the past year or so, all the way down. You know, the, the lows have been lower, higher. Let's try it again, Larry. The lows are, are, the lows are lower. You can see the lower lows and higher highs, and each trend keeps going down. These moves were exactly equal, uh, 10 points, and you can see here that we've already started down again here in the bonds. And with the Fed coming out, it looks like our target on this, folks, is 127. Right now they're trading at 152. At 127, the yield's going to be better than 35 to 4% on these, which is uh, what the old people used to get about 10 years ago before they brought out creative uh, financing also known as your uh, funding money or whatever they want to call it over there at the Fed. But uh, that is uh, that is a day of the past, I think, because the markets are saying, you know, we want more, we want more, and uh, rates are going to go higher. There's uh, At least that's what the charts are saying. It doesn't make any difference what the Fed does. It looks like these things want to go higher. Now, I wanted to share just a little bit about the, the cryptocurrencies. I'll get this up here uh, to let you know what it looks like here. This is the chart of Bitcoin. Let me get this up here just one second. All righty. Put the Bitcoin chart up. You see it's been in a downtrend since we made that double top up there at 65000 and change. But the important thing is, hey, we got to take a break. We'll pay a few bills. We'll be right back. Larry Bessonetto with Tom O'Brien. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right. 
information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, Larry Pesaveno setting in for Tom O'Brien, and I'm understanding that I have a problem with my mic. Is it still coming in poorly, folks? Because if it is, I can quickly change mics without any trouble at all. Uh, give me a little heads up on that. If it's any better or not, I'd like to know. So as soon as I hear some feedback here, I'll get going. I posted a chart here of Bitcoin, and this is a very, very important chart. You can see those that double top up here. Thank you so much for letting me know that it's working okay. But you'll see that we made a double top up in here, one at 65,000, the other at 69,000. But these two down moves were perfectly equal, folks. That tells you that that market is certainly in tandem. The difference is you'll notice from this low, we started to rally. From this low, we have not, at least not as yet. And any move below this 35,000 level in the Bitcoin is going to tell you that it's going to make a large A, B, C, D pattern. Your A being right here. Your B here, your C right up here to 382, and then down to right about 19,000 would be the A, B, C, D leg. And that would be no different. This leg would be exactly like this one, and like just like this one. And this one, if it gets to 1,900, would be a 78% level retracement of the low that we made in 2017, five years ago. That would be the buying opportunity of the century in cryptocurrencies if you get that. And if is a very, very big word in these markets. But if it does get there, you certainly want to pay attention to it because it could really be uh, something quite good. Now, here's a trade that we were doing today in the gold market. I'll get it up here and show you what it looks like. Uh, we were buying the gold down here at the uh, 910, 9, 9.11 area. Uh, we, we, the number came in at 10 1909. At 19.10.09, we bought it at 11. It went down to uh, 08 and a half, and then rallied up to 30. We now have our 19.30. We now have our stop at break even at 19.11. The worst thing can happen is it goes back down and stops us out. That's not the worst thing. The worst thing is it could go down and stop you out and then run. But the thing that we're worried about is how much money we have at risk. And right now, after a $30 move, we do not want to risk any more than the amount that we put in, which is uh, we risk $500 or $700 originally. So now we're in a risk-free environment, and that's what you want to be doing. Successful speculation relies on one factor, folks. You have to focus on how much money you're 
losing as opposed to how much money you're making. Focus on what your losses are and your profits are going to be okay. So that's what you have to do. You know, the, the, the old thing is the, the best loser wins. And the reason why the best loser wins, the best loser is the one that figure out, hey, I'm wrong. I got to get out of it right away. Whereas the guy that doesn't sits there and hopes and prays that the market's going to bail his kabuki out. And yes, that does not happen very often for sure. No question about it. Now, we also have a, a question from one of our listeners. I'll bring this up. This is on uh, Nike because uh, this was a chart that we were talking about oh, many moons ago. And I'll get this chart up here in the window. Just a second here. And here it comes. We were looking at this chart way back when it was making this uh, 135 pattern up here. You can see the lower tops. This is a spit, uh, kissing cousin to the three drive to a top pattern, but these tops are lower in a three drive to a top pattern. They're higher. So when it gets to the third top here, these ratios have to be very, very similar. Right, to, And as soon as you close below that number after hitting your, your target level, that's your signal, and you stay with it however long you like. Put your stop above here and let it go. And as you can see, this was the day here, right here, when they had the most bullish news that Nike had ever had about what was going on in China. They had bought all, I think everybody had three pairs of shoes, or at least they were forced to buy them. But after that, look at this. It rallies up just to a 61% retracement, and then boom. You know, a few days later, she gaps down, and now we've gone from 170-something uh, to uh you know, last time I saw it was around 110 or something, 117. So this is a it's a big deal. Now, with the big volume that we had today, some of these stocks are going to be turning around. Whether it's a big long term turnaround or not, I'm not sure. But we'll we'll find out in a few days, because if it keeps going tomorrow, that tells you this has got legs and it could easily go a whole lot higher because these folks have been bearish a long time and it's been paying off. But, uh, you know, we didn't break any records to the downside. Stop and think of it. It wasn't the regular uh, people that to do the hiring for these uh, jobs that we're looking at that told us that, by golly, you know, someone is actually looking for the stock market to rally today. And that's the kind of person you want to talk to. But uh, And it was very easy this morning on Bloomberg because they were talking about the end of the world, and it was put off. The chart that we're talking about, of course, was none other than, uh, I'll put this up here from Bloomberg because it was a real interesting thing here because it really didn't do that. Uh, that's when the stock market started to rally is when they got that news. And you'll notice here that we've had a pretty big sell-off. We've broken a trend line. It goes back about 20 years. But right into that trend line, right here, is our favorite ABCD pattern. So this could be a major bottom here in this Japanese yen and also in the Nikkei. They have very similar patterns. So today's low is a very, very important part of this uh, analysis that we're looking at here. So remember, if we're lower tomorrow in the, in the Nikkei, you know, like another eight or 900 points, and don't close really strong, and they, you know, they close the place uh, with his name on it on the last day, that is a super bearish. And so uh, we don't know what happens until tonight whether that occurs or not. People are watching it, folks. There's, they have paparazzi all over California when something like this happens uh, to someone that is a uh, you know, big celebrity, and uh, he certainly was. Is, is, is. Move on here. Let's take another look at another chart that someone was asked about. A very famous chart, folks. It's had a lot of in the news early, but lately it hasn't much, and that's Planeteer. Let's get this up. They, they have beaten this stock up like it was a... Uh, proverbial uh, hold on one second here there we go uh oh gotta put that in there just a second there we go go live like the proverbial plague this is planet here it was up at 28 came down rallied up to about 16 or 17 and then the ghost gave it up and boy you can see it's just been going down 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 actually held up extremely well today and I saw him in the hallway just a few minutes ago and uh, he was the owner of the place, and he said that uh, the stock had moved a little bit higher on the day, one of the few that actually did that. Even though there were quite a few stocks up, many of them were just, you know, going by the board and picking up seats that were available from the previous night. We were in a different place where they put the new chairs in each day, so it was, it was a big performance to uh, get to that position as we look at some of these uh, charts each day. Now, since we were talking about the uh, Hang Seng, I've already covered that. 
didn't want to duplicate the work, so we've covered Alibaba, we've covered Facebook, and a natural gas. I'll do natural gas in just a minute. Nike, here's one, another one that is a beautiful pattern, very similar to the pattern that we had on the three drive pattern. Uh oh, let's see. Oh, I got to do this. Hold on a second. I got to go to a different window. There you go, boys and girls. Thank you very much. Okay, you can see here. We have the same three, same three pattern here that we had in the. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, shucks, I can't remember. <laughs> hey, I'll be right back, folks. Been up all night trading, so I'm a bit tired. Same thing we had here with the uh, Nikai is the same thing we got here now. We'll just be right back. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Well, I hope we have Stan Harley going in. Okay, is Stan Harley in the house? I guess uh, we missed Stan Harley today. I was hoping he would call in, but... Evidently, he's busy. I think I'll just talk about his charts because they're so very, very interesting. And then if he doesn't, uh, you can reach him through the Stan Har the Harley Stock Market Letter. He's been doing it for 37 years. He's a award-winning analyst. I've known him for 45 years or so, and he's a really sharp guy. He's talking about this 36-week cycle that he believed bottomed today. And with the action like we had last night at 1.30, uh, all of my bells and whistles, uh, my alerts came on, 
and the Nasdaq, the S and P, and the Dow Jones were all making uh, new lows on this move. And boy, they just exploded out of there. And of course, the news came in, whatever it was, that things were going to be a little bit better. The Chinese were talking, the Russians were listening, or the Russians were talking, and the Chinese were listening, or something like that. But the market had a huge rally, and he's basing it on this rally here. It was three, uh, it's a 34 week cycle or eight months. So it's a very interesting cycle. What's interesting about it. It's because he, he 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 puts it in partnership with a another cycle that is very similar to it, which is the 120 120 day cycle, and they, they're all fitting together, and that's why it's such an interesting thing here. We'll get this this one up; you'll be able to see it. This is the shorter term version of that, and you're seeing at the same time we're getting an overlay of these two different types of cycles, and that usually means you're going to get a pretty big move. Uh, in the thing, so that's uh, that's why I think it's important to pay, you know, attention to this. And we've had a monster move. We've rallied 850 points, folks. Actually, 900 points off the bottom in the uh, Dow Jones here in the last uh, 20 hours. Uh, well, actually, the last 14 hours. So this is a big deal, and we're closing really strong today. That tells us this thing is going to continue and take out the highs of last week, which is around 30, 33, 600, and where it goes from there. Uh, is anybody's guess but this is the main thing here is that both of these cycles this one and the one from the other page lined up exactly as they were supposed to and that's why it was so very very uh, important and we can see it in the market language itself i hope i'm describing it the way that uh stan did i heard it but uh, uh sometimes what you hear and what you think is two different things now let's take another one that this one i did understand and that is the uh chart of the uh, New York Stock Exchange advanced decline line. I want to get this up here and put it in there so you folks can see it. There you go. This is basically telling you that there's a big divergence. There's not as much selling going on as you would think. You can see these others, these other bottoms had much, much lower bottoms. This bottom is having a higher bottom that was very positive, and we're seeing feedback from that today. Is the fact that it uh, has done that and it's extremely strong today. With the market, uh, you know, moving up as we go, gee, it just keeps uh, keeps getting higher and higher. We're up about, yeah, we're up almost 900 points. We are up 900 points in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And we've rallied, let me see, uh, 41, 42, 43. We've ra rallied 85 handles in the S&P 500 in just, you know, 12 hours, folks. That's just a huge run. And so it's it's really uh, really quite spectacular. See that going, and maybe that's an indication that these things that are happening across the pond over there in the Ukraine are not going to be nearly as bad as we think they are. So we'll have to give it a little bit of time to see if that's going to to be the case or not. But right now the market is holding up uh, extremely well, and that's what we'd like to see. Okay, now let's get back to a couple of these other things that we wanted to talk about. We talked about the crude oil. And we talked about gold, and I want to talk about a few other things. Just to show you folks, when you're looking at the crude oil complex, you have to look at the, the, the things, how it breaks down. Crude breaks into gasoline, and it breaks into heating oil. But let me show you how weak, crude, how weak the uh, heating oil market was when they were complaining in Germany and, and also in London that they couldn't get heat. Look at the heating oil. It's oh, I mean, and believe me, folks, when it had that rally here at the 382, it's just kept dropping and dropping and dropping. It's down to levels we haven't seen in several months. That's how much heating oil has dropped. So that market is most probably topped. As you can see here, you've made a beautiful A, B, C, D pattern to the upside. That's the Mandelbrot's Benoit Mandelbrot's fractal. A, B equals C, D. The same thing on the downside. You got A. B, C, and D to the downside. So all of that is fitting in with the fractal of what we think is a big A, B, C, D. And that's going to take us in the crude oil down to about 90 to $92 a barrel. That's hard to believe. We've dropped $40 a barrel. But, folks, I can remember in 2011 when the desert storm happened, uh, oil was trading at 42 The next day it opened uh, $16 lower at 25 I believe. 24, 25, on its way, 10 months later, to $11 a barrel. From $42 a barrel to $11 a barrel. So it has a tendency to move quite a bit. And remember, when we were at 100, when we went to 140 and Goldman Sachs said it was going to be going to 200, 
that's when it turned around and went all the way back to 11 again and eventually went negative. We actually had a negative market when the gentleman from Singapore could not find storage space. Well, I'm sure he's found some now, and I heard he's back in business making a ton of money. So God bless. As long as he spends it in the good old USA, that's good enough for me. Okay, if you have any questions, 877-927-6648. And I will talk just a second here about this Hong Kong situation over here because it was brought up on Bloomberg. Get this up here so we can all see it. All righty, just give me one second here. I keep thinking I'm in the other program. Okay, there we go. Okay, as you can see here that... Uh, the Bloomberg people were saying this was about the end of the world's uh, situation over there. I don't see it that way, folks. If, you, if you'll just take a quick look here. I hope that posted. I think it did. Oh, maybe it didn't. Let me. Uh, uh, oh, dear. Let's hope it posts. Let's, uh, I don't know. Did the, uh, did the crude oil chart from uh, Bloomberg post, folks? Would someone give me a heads up on that? Because uh, I... Uh, I uh, don't know if it did or not. I, I think it did. Anyway, it shows that Hang Seng Index, how badly it got hit today. And uh, it came back a little bit, still closing down quite a bit. But our market was the one that turned and uh, brought everybody a great deal of surprise. So it, it'll follow through tomorrow, one or two days, and then we'll see, you know, what the next step is. But to go 900 points in one day on the upside, you don't see it so much on your machine. I think it's showing 500, 500 points. But it was actually... Uh, 350 points lower uh, until the uh, in the night when they heard there was going to be some talking with the Russians, and that was enough to call peace on earth and goodwill towards men, and by golly, the market just took off and kept going and going and going. Now, let's talk about a, a, one of the commodities here that we follow here at TFNN, which is the coffee, and you'll see here that coffee prices are going to be coming down dramatically. Let me get this up here so you'll be able to see it. There we go, coming in down. Hopefully, <laughs> you can see here uh, we had a big break, you see, in the coffee. Once we went below 124, you know, down she came, and the rally back was exactly 382 of the Fibonacci sequence. And from there, we've made a giant A, B, C, D that will be completing at the end of this week, uh, which will be, you know, probably Friday. And then we'll see. We'll take a break here, folks. We'll be right back. Larry Pesavento setting in for Tom O'Brien. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Oh, son of a gun. I don't know if Mike from Niagara Falls is still on the line. Mike, are you there? Well, let me, Mike was asking a question about the natural gas folks, and I posted it. Uh, I didn't realize that I had to go to a different uh, channel here to uh, see what was going on. I had to go into the host chat instead of the uh, guest chat, and that made a little bit of a problem. But uh, you'll notice here on the natural gas, uh, we made a top here, you know, several months ago. Uh, you can see the big A, B, C, D pattern that was here, and then it completed another one small retracement and then down again and then we finally had the big ABCD rally that was nothing more than a sale market broke down had three higher bottoms here and then we had a rally up to the exact 61 percent retracement and it's been drifting off ever since so uh, the people in Europe might not know it or not but these energy costs are going to come down now people are saying on the news I heard that it's because this Iran sanction is going to go through I don't believe anything, folks. I mean, I've seen so much stuff that doesn't count. You know, the Chinese came out and said, hey, Russia never wanted to have never asked us for any munitions or anything like that. And and then someone else says something and then the country comes back and says, no, that's not what happened. So these people that get on the news here, they, they should work like they do in, in uh, Singapore. If you get caught lying twice, you go to jail for two years. I think once would be enough, but twice they put you in jail for two years for lying as a broadcaster or a reporter. They just, you know, if you don't have the factual information to back it up, don't think about it. So that's how that works. But look at this chart here. This is really amazing. We had this beautiful buy signal down here at 350. Market goes up to 500, which was nothing more than an A, B, C, D. Then we have the three higher bottoms in here, just perfectly lined up, and there it's ready to go. Unfortunately, the gentleman uh, didn't quite uh, complete the trip, and uh, that's uh, the reasoning behind it. Now, let's move on to uh, one other one that uh, someone has asked about. Uh, hold on one second, and I'll get it up here, and that is ARC, uh, Kathy Wood's uh, group here. That This stock has taken a absolute literal beating, and uh, I know she's a very nice, hardworking young girl, but this stock has just been decimated. Yeah, pretty much. It's gone down to about 10%. Well, no, not quite. But it's dropped about 60% of its value. But pay close attention to ARC, folks, because we got a three-drive pattern here. Drive one, drive two, drive three. So this thing should start to rally in the next day or so. Even if the stock market starts to sell off, ARC is ready for a rally. And uh, I think that's uh, how long it's going to last. No one knows that, and especially me. So I just have to control my risk. That's all I try to do with these things is risk control. No more, no less. It doesn't make any difference uh, what these patterns do. I'm looking at what that ABCD pattern does because that's the one that, that takes you to the promised land. For That's it. Now, I've had a request to take a look at uh, Apple. Now, Apple had an interesting uh, chart pattern today, folks. I'll, I'll get this up here. So you folks can take a look at, oh, that didn't want to do that. That's the wrong one. It will just take me a second to pull it up. And where's the old, say, here we go. And then I just read over here to Mr. Appel, who's down by the well. And now we're ready. Bring this up here. 
share the screen. And there is Mr. Appel, who's down by the well. There we go. Okay, there's this is a, uh, today the uh, chart of Apple was hitting the 200-day moving average. I heard it on two different channels, Bloomberg and uh, CNBC. I, I hardly watch those, but during during the time today, it took a little bit of time to watch the news and what they were talking about was the fact that Apple had hit their 200-day moving average, and every time that it's done that, it's had a pretty good rally. Well, it's done it this time, so maybe the rally will start now. We don't know what's going on, but we'll have to figure out, you know, how it's going to work. You know, that's uh, neither here nor there. That's all we can do. Anyway, un unable to reach Stan today, but we'll have him on next week, and we'll see how some of these things uh, work out here. But we've had a, a monster rally today that continues to go on. And it's probably going to finish in a day or two. Then we'll we'll see what power it has to see whether it does some backing and filling in order to get to the spot where we were making new highs, which we could easily do. We could easily do that because the emotionalism on these things is uh, is truly uh, it's truly amazing, and that's something we've got to uh, remind ourselves. Now, uh, I don't think I did this one for Coinbase. I wanted to do this. This is another one that is really interesting here. Now, this isn't the crypto itself. This is one of the companies that promotes the crypto. But, oh, dear. What did I do wrong now? i got to go back in the TV type to change. Well, well, I lost something here, TV channel. Oh, dear. I'm in a little trouble now. Just a second, boys and girls. I'll see if I can get this fixed. I don't think I can, but every time I click a wrong button, it comes and bothers me. <laughs> Nothing else I can do. Hold on. Just take me one second here. Yeah, I should be able to get this up here. There we go. I think we're all right now. I hope this is all right. There we go. Get this up here. Okay, folks. This is Coinbase which is one of the main companies around surrounding uh, this cryptocurrency stuff. And they are the super brains in the business. And as you can see here, they have a really, really big pattern coming in here with the three drive to a bottom pattern. Very similar to what we had with uh, the uh, young lady for, uh, what was the name of that company? I can't remember it. Uh, Facebook. It was, it's not just the, one of the people at Facebook, but they had the same type of a pattern. So you need to watch that. And also Alibaba has the same type of pattern here, too. So that's the main thing. You can see these patterns. This is the three drive, drive one, drive two, and drive three. And we're in that zone here making new lows for the third drive. That tells us uh, pretty much. I'd like to know if the low was around, you know, 153, 154 today. That would give you a really good spot to be buying that. And you wouldn't have to risk more than five or six points because the market is so liquid that it's going to keep you alive no matter what happens. So remind ourselves that that's what you want to do. Keep your, your chips close to the vest. Don't risk very much. And you should be okay when it comes down to uh, tallying whether you're profitable or negative in this business because it's how much money you don't lose. Remember Warren Buffett's rules, folks. Number one. Don't lose money. Number two, don't break rule number one. Well, that's what you got to try to do is to get in that loving situation where you don't have anything at risk, and that's what makes it fun. Because if you buy something and it goes down and down and down, like Planeteer. Heck, you could have bought that a month ago thinking it was the best buy there was, and now it's half the price. Again, breaks in half again and breaks in half again. Pretty soon it's going to be you know $2 stock, and it doesn't take that long to do it. Because these markets, you know, they react very, very violently when they when they react, and that's why uh, you got to pay close attention to it. Now, most of you folks don't follow the wheat market, but I wanted to bring this up to your attention because here's another one that's going to reduce your uh, pasta and bread. This is that's going to reduce your bill for that. Here is the price of wheat. As you can see here, we have actually gone to a spot now where. We had more wheat than we thought, and wheat is selling off more than $3 a bushel now, boys and girls. We'll be right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and I'm posting a chart from Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letters. We talked about it early in the show. It shows the uh, advanced decline line, new highs to new lows. You'll notice it's very, very powerful what's going on with the Dow up way over 400 points so far today, probably close to 500 now by what I've seen recently. And uh, we've got the S&P up about uh, 60, about 70 handles, oh, more than that. And so it's had a big move, and you want to watch that because if the market weakens, and we start to see more uh, down stocks and up stocks. That means if you go below the lows that we made today, March the 15th, one day from the pie day, yesterday was 314, which is the pie number. But on the 15th, it actually made it last night. So maybe it was pie day. But anyway, but if we go below that low that we made last night, that is extremely bearish because that means this is nothing more than a fake out. As of now, you've got to really respect it and look that we're probably going to be going higher. We could easily go another uh, 1,000 points in the Dow Jones and still be in a bear market. You know, we could easily go to 34,500. We're at 33.4 right now. So there's that possibility. So remember, it's not how much money you uh, make. It's how much money you don't lose. And that's what you have to focus on is to focus on your how much money you have at risk. And that's what the really important part of this. This is the first day of the rally. We want to see what happens. News comes out of all different places in the world. Sometimes it'll be good. Sometimes it'll be bad. But it's how the market reacts to it that counts. So uh, just be very, very careful out there and make sure you protect yourself and 
keep your chips close to the vest and have a lot of buying power because when this bear market is finally open, and this has been a mini bear, of course, but when it's finally open over, then you'll be looking at something that'll be really, uh, really quite exciting because we live in the greatest country in the world and you can't beat it. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless Larry Pesavino with the privilege of setting in for Tom O'Brien. We'll see you again soon, folks. May God bless.